Hi guys, this is Aubrey from Cynthia Genesis and so in today's video I'm going to go through the process of a tissue culture, um, monster micropropagation and uh, the technique I use is not really uh, complicated. I follow the basic protocol used for the plant tissue culture and the, uh, the success rate is really low because as you can see I, I work in a home environment so it's like my bedroom so there is no sterility indeed I don't have um, I don't have I don't really have uh, the laminar flow hood or the sterile box right now I had one before if you have watched my orchid tissue culture video but right now I work in like open environment that's why the success rate is really low but I wanted I want to try it uh, anyways because there is no damage in trying if you want to learn something or to achieve something before an achievable so I hope you like this video and I really hope that it will help you as well in your journey of science and in your journey of applying like a molecular biology a synthetic biology techniques into your experiments your your private projects and your desires to get better and find your fulfillment in science. So before we start this video, I launched a new merch uh, on my Amazon store. Uh, this one I'm wearing right now. So it is the concept of like a life engineer. In this case, it's called a life bender. And every design and every print is printed on a black t-shirt. Uh, in this case, it's an XL t-shirt and I really like the design because it's really cool and kind of motivating to me. So yeah, if you would like to buy the one for yourself, you can just go to the link below in the comment section or in the description and buy the merch. So the first step and one of the most important is the media preparation. The media I use here is the nutrient enriched tissue culture media also called MS Cook, which consists of all the required nutrients, micro and macro elements required for the successful tissue culture experiment. The amount of media is entirely dependent on what plant you're working on. If you're working more like on a tropical plant, like for example on Monstera, Monstera Deliciosa or Monstera Edensoni, you will probably need like a stronger media which will be able to satisfy the needs of the tropical plant. For me, I use the concentration of the 34 grams per liter of the solution. So, in this case, I'm gonna use like a 200 milliliters of the stock solution for my flasks and you will be able to calculate how much of the media you will need for your experiment with the following formula. So now you should add the sufficient amount of the distilled water so the final volume won't exceed the amount got in a calculation. Put a flask into a magnetic steerer or a heat plate. In this way, you will be able to mix the solution with the distilled water. Now you're gonna need to transfer the well-mixed solution into a more flexible flask because we will need to regulate the pH level. So like the optimal pH level for the Monstera uh, species is 5.8 to 6. After you regulate your pH level, you will need to transfer your uh, solution to the autoclave or in a good old fashioned pressure cooker and autoclave it for like 25 minutes. Now transfer your media into a separate flask and let it sit until it gets solidified. It should be solid so we'll be able to put an explant into it. So like the part of the plant that you're genuinely interested in and you're gonna need to like tissue culture and put into a 
multiplication media is right over here. So this is the part. It's called an apical meristem and it's capable of like producing a newer cells. So you will need this particular part and you're supposed to like cut this part in here at the stem. Here it is. And you'll probably need to cut off the cut off the leaves because they create area of contamination. You will need to reduce the contamination as much as possible. So you're gonna need to like cut off the leaves like this. So here is our apical meristem and you can as well like cut off the leaf right over here. So now we're gonna put an explants into a one person solution of bleach for 30 minutes in order to kill off every microbe, bacteria or fungi around the plant. After the 30 minutes, transfer your explants into an ethyl alcohol solution and let them sit there for 5 minutes for further more sterilization. Now transfer your plants into a distilled sterile water and remember this, this water is meant to be sterile because it don't need any, any contamination. The whole reason that we did this uh, cleaning process with ethyl alcohol and bleach was to remove and kill off every microbe around the plant. So you definitely need like a sterile water for this procedure. So transfer them into a sterile water and let them sit for like 5 minutes. Now put your sterile explants into a multiplication media and you're basically done. So it's been two weeks for now and as you can see my plant is growing kind of nicely. It has two separate growth points and they are kind of sufficient and I have not seen any contamination so it's kind of weird considering that I, I work into an open environment but still I'm kind of happy with the results and I hope that your experiment and your tissue culture project will work as well. Thank you for watching I'm Aubrey from Synthiogenesis and if you'd like to see more videos like this more content like this Please consider subscribing, liking the video and sharing it to your friends. Thank you and bye.